Some days I feel like I'm making progress. And then other days I'm just like, you are never going to get to where you want to be. I've done like three of those mock interviews on Lee Code. Don't finish them. Don't finish one of them. I feel like I'm making progress, but there's so much to think about. You have to think about how fast you're solving each problem. You got to think about if you're communicating what you're thinking well. You have to think about the time complexity. If I'm even, I'm not even at the time complexity part. I'm just trying to get the right answer. Today we're talking about technical interviews and how you can stay motivated while you're grinding and studying and trying to learn these data structures and algorithms. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I studied for the past seven months, seven, seven months studying for these technical interviews. There's so many different topics, concepts, data structures, algorithms that you need to know and I needed to really take my time with it. I spent like three weeks on trees and learning like depth first search and breath first search algorithms. I spent like a good month on graphs. Okay y'all, so I just solved max area of an island and I am super proud of myself. This is a graph problem. I legit like took my time with this problem and actually went through like how the DFS would work and for each node like it would legit check each direction and I kind of like walked through that and I did it and I solved it and I'm super super proud of myself just gonna keep going just keep swimming because that was just one of the harder topics for me just because there's so many different algorithms when it comes to you know traversing and exploring graphs and you know like just you know manipulating data in that way but you know I did it and you know during those seven months I was working a full-time job my study schedule was insane I could do a whole other video about that but in this video we're gonna talk about ways to stay motivated so one way that really helps me to stay motivated while studying for the technical interviews is Eric Durant, also known as Champagne Coder, his technical interview study guide. So I can make a whole video about how I actually found my mentor through Instagram. But yeah, I remember DMing him, you know, a couple of months ago and saying like, you know, I study for technical interviews on and off. You know, I might study a topic like, you know, arrays and linked lists and have it down. But then I get to trees and it's just so frustrating to me and I just kind of lose hope. I lose motivation and I stop studying. And then he was like, hey, you know. <laughs> He was like, no worries. Here's like a study guide that I give to some people that I mentor. And he gave me the study guide. He explained it. And I was like, bet. Okay. And y'all, it completely changed the, my mindset and it helped me out so much. So I'll definitely insert on the screen what the technical interview study guide looks like. It just has a list of topics and how I did it was when I was working on a topic, I would color that cell yellow. And when I finished that, like finished a problem, I would say, okay, I've done one out of 10 graph problems. And that's how I kept track of my progress. And I think what this helped me to really do, and I preach this all the time, is focus on progress and not perfection. Oh. I legit just solved a tree problem in two minutes. Like I had two minutes left on my noisily timer and I was like, okay, let me see if I can do a problem. I probably won't finish it, but let me just try. I chose a tree problem. Yo, I did a tree problem in two minutes and it's labeled easy, but it's like still like, I really want to take this moment to acknowledge my progress because that's just so beautiful. Like I have a video on my channel where I was struggling with trees and then I just solved this one so easily. And like when it's coming to all of this interview prep, y'all, I have never felt this way with interview prep, like this comfortable. And I know I have a long way to go, still so many medium problems that I want to try. And the medium ones do get tricky. I was kind of stuck today, but I just want to remember this moment, remember this video, and I am proud of how far I've come. Okay. 
And through this technical interview study guide, I had this visual representation of my progress and it just helped me out so much. It helped me to like trust in the process more and not just worry about perfection. So, you know, using this technical interview study guide, having some form like of a visual representation that shows your progress, I think that is so key because that can really like keep you motivated. Or at least for me, I'm the type of person that like I feel so much satisfaction over like checking items off of lists and like little things like that. Like, you know, that just I don't know, we're all weird out here, but that really just like does something in my mind. So seeing that was just so helpful for me to keep going. And then it got to a point where I think I had done like maybe 130 questions or something like that. I was like, wow, like up until that point, I was not confident. And then somewhere around that problem, I was like, I think I could solve any problem. And I know that's going to sound really cocky to people. But for me, that was such a huge deal. So like in the past, I have failed technical interviews, have done terrible. I can do so many horror stories. We could do that for like a YouTube video and I can just, ooh, we, we can go at it. What was different this time was not that I'm way smarter than I was before. No, I had to put in seven months of studying. But the only thing was I never put in that much of studying before. Like it was really just preparation that was the game changer. Y'all, so mantra and mindset is so important when it comes to staying motivated for these technical interviews. You know, there's different things that I would do in this regard. So one of it is I could be doing problems on my laptop and on my monitor. I have a screensaver that just says growth is uncomfortable. When I'm doing those harder problems and I'm starting to like, you know, lack that motivation, I'll just look up at that and know that growth is uncomfortable. Y'all, there are so many people that complain about these technical interviews. Like people say the system is broken. Like it's definitely hard for a lot of people. And I'll even say the majority of people find data structure and algorithm type interviews to be stressful or to be difficult. So you are not alone. So seeing that growth is uncomfortable. I'll be like, okay, like, honestly, I would rather be doing the harder problems now so during the technical interview, it can be more smooth. So when I did see a hard problem, I'm just like, thank God I'm doing that problem now. So that's kind of the way that I would think about it. You know, I would have a motivational song. So MGK has this song. I think it's called Dreams or something like that. But it goes like, um, this is for everybody with a dream now. Yeah, like something like that. But that was my song. I would play that in the morning. I would play that right before I would go and study. It would be midnight when I do not feel like studying anymore. But I would just play that song and I'm like, you know, for so long I like doubted myself that I couldn't pass interviews at fang companies. I couldn't pass an interview at Google. However, I was like, but you never gave it your all. You know, like I studied for seven months, y'all, like that's such a long time period. You know, it's kind of like that quote, like not the quote, if you think you can't, you're right. And you think you can, you're right. Because that kind of ties in. But it's like, but what if you do? You know that quote, but what if you did? And I was just like, let me give this my everything and see why I end up. And then, yo, I passed technical interviews at Google, at Amazon, at amazing companies that I really thought I had no shot at. And I'm so proud of myself for that. And like all the companies, the company I'm working at now, like, I'm just so happy. I'm so grateful. So I just want to say that you can do this. Coming from someone who has failed these types of interviews to now passing it, the only difference is preparation. And hopefully you're going to find tips in this video to keep you motivated. So definitely the mantra, the mindset, keeping that in your head and knowing this is a difficult process. But you're going to get through. Mm -hmm. Now something else that kept me very motivated while studying for technical interviews and all three of these like are so important. Like that's why I had to keep all these three in a video because they were all together combined helps me out, but definitely having a study partner. But for at any of like the, you know, we go to a leaf and then we go left and there's nothing there. So yeah, so like in this case with one and we go left and the root is none, in that case what we can do is just 
return. I had a friend who we would just call each other on Zoom and it will just be silence. I don't even know if we said hello to each other. It got to that point. We already knew what's up. Like I would just do my problems quietly. That person would do their problems quietly. Once in a while, we might be like, hey, how's it going? Like, what problem are you on? And what was so great about this is that I'm a morning person. Good morning. New day, same grind. I'm about to work on my work stuff, get all these tasks done. And then later tonight, we back to grinding linked list so right now the problem i'm working on is reversing the linked list so i understood linked lists like a while ago but now coming back to it it's a lot of pointer manipulation that i just kind of forgot about so definitely gotta refresh my memory on that and let's go buddy go crazy go stupid ah. so like that's when i like you know get my stuff done but at night y'all it 9 p.m i'm like Oop, time for bed like i am done however my friend was a night person so having those zoom calls i'll be like oh i'm tired but you know keeping that dream my goal alive i was like okay let me just get on this zoom call and that just helped me to put more hours into this so that was something that was so helpful another thing you know my friend might do this problem like oh this is a great um matrix problem and send it to me and from there i was doing problems that i might not have chose for myself and the crazy thing is i was having a zoom call with someone and they're like hey maya try this problem so they picked out the problem and then i saw that problem in a technical interview I don't know if I would have picked out that problem for myself. And then also, you know, when your friend has a technical interview next week, but yours is in the next two weeks, you know, the person that got it next week really feels that pressure, you know, so they're really going to be studying. So I would just like ride that wave with that person. They'll be like, okay, I'm about to study six hours after work every day, eight hours on the weekend. And I'll be like, bet, I'm going to be right there with you on Zoom. So I think that really, really helped was. Um, having a study partner again no one that's negative puts you down all my study partners have been great you know they knew it was hard but like we motivated each other you do not need any negative Nancy's in your life so uh, definitely having a study partner is game changing okay y'all I really hope you enjoyed these video if you did if you lasted up until this point you know, you kind of like this video. You know, you might not want to admit it, but you like it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all of that. You know, show me some love. Uh. And yeah, definitely have more videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.